Hey Dave, how are ya? Let's play uh, Dave the Brute. Let's play some of your music. Alright Dave, um, what kind of hats do I like for winter? Good question. Look at this teeny little thing. I showed this a couple times before. I love it. It's like a like thin kind of nylon material. You wad it up and put it in a pocket. And like wear it under like a, a fancier knit hat. If you don't have a knit, Dave, knitting's good. You knit yourself up something uh, that can't be bought in a store. Um, I like, uh, I like, this is the arm of a Snuggie, which I cut off. And then, you know, turn it into a hat, and you turn this into a scarf, all sorts of things. So, I think the best hat uh, for winter is the hat you make yourself. So I'm really uh, fond of that uh, black fedora you see me wearing an awful lot. It's uh, wool, and uh, in the summer it's awesome, in the winter it's awesome. It's awesome. Uh, also, you asked about uh, people uh, getting under your skin. Yeah, uh, people are going to do that for your whole life. Um, and, you know, typically the, uh, the golden rule when someone's getting under your skin is, just, skin is just to ignore them. I always found that uh, being straightforward honest, um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't appreciate the nickname. Like, or, hey, that's, that's enough. My name's Dave. Um, and then just, you know, keep moving on. Don't turn it into a confrontation or uh, a demand. Um, and don't let any kind of anger or anything come into your voice. Like, like typically what might come into my voice is kind of maybe even a tired frustration. It's like, hey, I don't, I don't like that name. I think most people don't like being called names. Just call me Dave. Um, because I mean, some people could be like, you know, a little bit kind of a, you know, rude, kind of rough and tumble, uh, in their social aspects. But I think a lot of people kind of pick up that they've gone too far, and uh, no one wants to be seen as uh, boring. Um, and uh, it sounds like uh, it sounds like you know your name calling uh, you get is just uh, just kind of obnoxious. Doesn't look like it, it's probably not going further, much further past that. Um, but. Uh, But if it goes past that, um, then a little bit more decorative statements need to be made. Um, and, you know, handle it yourself. And uh, if, some, if someone is just maniacally insisting, um, do what you can to have an intervention uh, take place. Now, one thing, like when people are insulting you or do anything to you, uh, the one thing that you want to try to avoid is you want to deal with the situation without giving them a sense that they need to get revenge. Um, it's a, a, a tricky process. Uh, basically, uh, you just got to be really careful not to be insulting or rude yourself. Uh, always be truthful and honest and straightforward. Um, and, you know, really, your one goal, your point is, you want to be called Dave, or you just don't want to be called, you know, a name. You know, you're fine with nicknames, let's say. You just don't like the nicknames they're using. Um, yeah, and then try to avoid people that uh, don't pick up on that. But if someone picks up on that, if someone says, uh, all right, sorry, man, try to reinforce that. Um, you know, no hard feelings. Hey, I noticed that you, uh, you play tennis. Did you know that there's a a court that hardly anyone ever uses out by in this neighborhood or uh, it's something like that just something that like it's almost an obvious like you know olive branch like hey I I really appreciate you acknowledging uh, you know my wishes and, my, and respecting my wishes um, and uh, I'm willing to do anything to show you that I appreciate it. Um, I've had some really good uh, feedback with that I work with a guy actually that was uh, would kind of go out of his way to make things difficult for me. And one day, I think just through lucky circumstance, um, through my interaction with him, I was able to really uh, get a lot done at work. Um, 
and I, I went down there. It's like I was I was actually still at work. I uh, walked out of the office, went down to a little corner store, grabbed a six pack, walked back up, and uh, gave the guy a six pack in a in a bag, and said, "Hey, man, I, I, you really saved me a lot of effort today, and uh, I was able to get a lot done thanks to your help. And uh, I just want to say thank you. I really appreciate it." And then it's kind of like and it's left it at that. I uh, didn't make a big deal about it, never mentioned it again, and uh, that guy kind of kept it in his mind, um, and I could tell uh, the, in the future, um, if there was something that guy could do to help me, he did it, and he didn't do it for a six-pack, he did it because he got positive reinforcement for doing something cool. What is it, Aquila? Alright, Aquila has to go out. Alright, Dave. <laughs> I hope you... Uh, I hope, I hope people uh, call you what you want. I really think that uh, respecting people's wishes, uh, um, you know, about making your wishes known and have people respect them is really important. And if people don't respect them, then uh, you just have to do all you can to uh, try to avoid them. It gets easier as you get older. <laughs> all right, buddy. Peace out.